Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is part of learning different kind of charts in Power BI and today I'm going to cover the clustered bar chart. So let's start that. So first let's load the data and today I'm going to uh, take the financial data and the financial sample data. So this uh, financial sample data is just about having some orders uh, from the different uh, countries, from the different type of business entities like a government, market and we have some set of units, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales and other kind of uh, information presented to the data. So let's load the data first and then we will see uh, what all the columns are presenting to the this uh, financial data and what columns we can utilize it. Okay. So you can see that uh, the table, the financial table is already loaded inside the field section and uh, you can also see different kind of uh, variables, <coughs> different kind of uh, variables are present here. So let's first see the data uh, to check the data or see the sample of the data. We just need to go this data tab here, click it here and you will see the data what we have it here. So we have the segment column inside that we have the government and other entities. We have the country, we have the product, uh, we have the discount brand, unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales, discount if any discount has been available or not, sales, uh, COGS, I think cost of good sales and then we have the profit date month and month name year as well. Okay. So let's go to uh, the report section and let's plot a clustered bar chart. So for that you just need to click it here. It will be appear uh, into the main area, this page. And uh, let's have, uh, let's drop the date into the y-axis we, because we wanted to uh, plot the clustered bar chart. And then let's first take the gross sales into the x-axis then uh, sales into the x-axis sorry it's, uh, it should be on the x-axis not the legend and then the cost of goods sales and let's uh, take the profit okay now you can see uh, this is 2013 and 2014 data set. We have two data set, uh, I mean two years. So let's divide into the quarter. Okay. So now you can see it's uh, starting from the quarter uh, 2013, 3, 4, quarter 14, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So it's from the last or uh, second two quarter of the 2013 and the uh, all the four quarter of the 2014. So let's do some formatting for that uh, this chart. So for doing the formatting, we just need to go to the format section. And first, let's see uh, the x uh, y axis what we have it. So in the font, uh, we will make it Calibri and. Uh, font size will be the 12 so that it can be visible clearly and uh, this will be the black color only and let's see the title is on uh, we don't need to make any change on the title because it's a date quarter so let's keep it on let's go to the x-axis the range will be the auto auto means like a minimum you want to, to start from the zero and uh, uh, maximum is whatever value which will present here. So if you want to assign some values, you can make them zero or keep it as auto. No need to make any changes. Uh, in the value section, you just go to the font again and uh, make them Calibri. Uh, font size will be 12. Color will be black. And then title is on. Keep them title on. If you want, you can just remove the title because nothing is more than that, right? So just uh, off the title for now, okay? And uh, legend is on, so 
if you already have the legend so just keep it or uh, top right so that you can clearly see the legend and then uh, we need to go to uh first thing let's go to the bar actually let's uh, first uh create some good i will just provide some good color to these bars okay so let's just start first giving this is the blue that is already there let's take second as a yellowish color and then uh, some of cogs will be make them let's take this color okay and then some of the profit like assign them green okay so this is the color uh, indication so you have the blue color for the uh, i mean it's like uh, sales for yellow color the gross sales for uh, cogs for the purple color and the green color for the profits okay so these are the four color uh, we have given and then uh, if you want to data labels yeah i think it's better to have the data label okay so so that the, all the data can be visible clearly and keep the all for series go to the values make them again at least 12 and this should be the black so it can be visible clearly unit it's up to you it's already million so just keep as a million no need to change anything background no need to uh, check change any background and let's uh, go some background for uh i mean sorry so go for some background for the plot area so let's go to this title section first if you want to just provide the name so proper name like uh, uh you can see the you can type it like a uh, come a john between sales gross sales cogs and the profit symbol so you can type it heading 3 uh, it's uh, make them 16 colors will be black and then make them bold so uh, let's reduce the size so keep it like 15 put into the middle and then let's go to the effect section just assign some background so let's give the background to this chart transparency make them 25 percent around 25 percent so it looks good assign the border so assign the border is pixel will be the one okay so now i think you understand how to create a cluster bar chart in power bi thanks for the watching and please subscribe my channel if you like it thank you very much